Calling All Authors, the Your Book, Your Voice podcast with host Robert A. Lane features everything you need to know about narrating your audio book, but it doesn't stop there. We have special guests lined up from all aspects of the book publishing industry, and we also dive deep into what it takes to be mentally prepared for success as an author and in life. So please welcome your host, Robert A. Lane. Hey, my friends, how are you today? This is the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. I'm your host, Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Thanks so much for uh, joining me live. Uh, and if you're hearing the replay, well, glad you're listening to that too. <laughs> All right, uh, if this is your first time tuning in, uh, I am an audiobook coach and producer. That's what I do for a living, something that I just uh, embrace and love doing, which is helping uh, authors like yourself, nonfiction authors who have a published book, and getting you to turn that book into an audiobook that you narrate in your own voice, because it's your story. And uh, I've said this a million times, and I'll say it a million times more. Every nonfiction author who has a great published book that's out there in the world, whether it's an ebook or paperback or hardcover, you need to narrate your own audiobook because it's your story. You've lived it, you've uh, experienced it, you put your blood, sweat, and tears into this fantastic book that you have out there in the world, and it only makes sense for you to narrate your own audiobook. And as an audiobook coach and producer, that's what I do. I help authors, again, narrate their own audiobook and take them through uh, an audiobook coaching program, which is called Your Book, Your Voice. And it's a six-week program where uh, I, teach you how to set up your own recording space and provide you with the professional equipment that you need, which is yours to keep. It's part of the program. You set up your own recording space, and then we, uh, we go through the, the fine art of voiceover, the fine art of narration, how to be compelling, how to be engaging, how to be authentic, because authenticity is key, and bringing that emotion and energy and, of course, the, the practical aspects as well, with you know, mic placement and levels and consistency and all that. Uh, you're taught all that as part of the program. And then we do all the editing for you because once you record your audio files, they do need to be edited to be clean, to make sure that they uh, especially meet the exact specifications for publication uh, for uh, Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. And that's where I focus uh, getting you published. Again, Audible, Amazon, and Apple, which uh, I call it the AAA because those are the three main platforms that uh, most of the general public go to to uh, look for audiobooks. There are other distribution platforms. And uh, again, that is something that we do talk about in the program to see what works best for you. But those three you will be published on and you will have your audiobook recorded and submitted for publication by the end of the six week program. That's what I do as an audiobook coach. And I love doing it, love helping you authors and, uh, um, I'm an audio guy too, so I get to do that as well. Uh, I spent 30 plus years working in the entertainment business uh, in various facets of the business. Uh, the last 14 or so years were spent with uh, 20th Century Fox in Los Angeles on the studio lot, but that was more of, of the a corporate job. But I did have an audio uh, post-production business and still do um, during that time. But, uh, but that's who I am and what I do. And again, I'm glad you're here joining us for this. Now, our topic today is narrating your audiobook. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Um, and we're going to dive into aspects, uh, you know, of, of fear. But I do want to touch on uh, some of the uh, excuses uh, and some of the reasoning, which generally are excuses when you really break it down, of why authors have not done uh, an audiobook yet. Now. Uh, uh, one of the, the worst things that I've ever heard an author say, and, and you know, thankfully, it's something that I haven't heard uh, very often. It's very rare. But, you know, once in a while, I hear an author say, you know, it's just not worth, the, worth doing an audiobook. And that is just so wrong because the audiobook market, the audiobook world has been growing and expanding uh, for the last several years. Matter of fact, in 2019, uh, revenue uh, 
from audiobooks versus ebooks uh, surpassed ebooks. More money was made with audiobooks than with ebooks, and that gap seems to be getting wider. Now, of course, you know, people do buy your ebook and your paperback and your hardcover. Of course they do. But so many more people now are listening to audiobooks. So many people are uh, buying audiobooks first before they even look into uh, the other formats that your book may be in. So, again, it's so important to have a, a book in audiobook form. Uh, and of course, you as a nonfiction author, you do need to narrate your own audiobook. Okay. Um, and uh, again, the other thing, aside from expanding your audience and, and getting new followers and fans of, of your book, uh, that just add one more format, one more thing to add to that great arsenal, which is your product, right? You are an author, you're an author brand, that's what you do. I consider you an author entrepreneur because you've got a published book or maybe you're working on your book now and it's gonna be published. That's fantastic. That's really, really great. And uh, so you are a brand and, and you are a professional and you just have to uh, uh, you know, treat yourself and look at yourself as a professional entrepreneur, entrepreneurial business because you are. So not only are you expanding your audience when you have an audiobook, you are also adding another product, which is another revenue stream. And when you do marketing strategies regarding audiobooks, you can combine them with you know the other formats of your book, offering a book at half price or buy one you know format and get the other for free. There's a million ways that you can uh, market yourself as an author and boost sales, not only for audiobooks, but also for the other formats that your book is in. So, you know, luckily I haven't heard that excuse of, oh, you know, it's just not worth doing because I know that uh, I would say 99% of the authors out there do realize that having an audiobook really is a valuable asset to their author brand. So you definitely need to have one. And again, you definitely need to be narrating your own audiobook. Okay. Now, I mean, there's other uh, reasons that I've heard uh, that, again, we're talking about what are you afraid of, right? That's our topic. What are you afraid of? Okay. So I know and I understand that, that maybe you don't have the experience of doing a narration. Maybe it's the first time that you've considered narrating your own audiobook. And that's great. And, and I'm a big proponent of that, you know. And again, as I say, all nonfiction authors need to narrate their own audiobook because again, it's your story. And you do have what it takes. And I do understand that uh, again, when we're talking about fears, uh, you know, public speaking is a fear. Uh, sometimes even, you know, when you grab a microphone and you put this microphone in front of your face, it can cause some stress and anxiety because you're talking to a mic, you know, and maybe in your mind, it's like, it feels like it's, it's public speaking. And, you know, I understand that, uh, especially if you uh, feel like you don't have what it takes to deliver a great narration that's compelling and engaging. But the truth is you do you do have a great voice and you do have what it takes to do an awesome audiobook narration, okay? Now I hear time as an excuse and that really is an excuse. I just don't have the time uh, you know, to do an audiobook. Uh, my first question that I ask any author who says, oh, you know, it's, just, it's, it's so time consuming, I'd say, well, when did you have the time to write and publish your book in the first place? You obviously made time to write this great nonfiction book of yours. You've allocated specific times. Maybe you, you were very regimented uh, or you know, maybe it did take you a long time to write your book. But the thing is that you, you, you accomplished it. You reached that goal. It's out there in the world. It's published. People can you know, read your story. You know, and especially if you're a coach or an entrepreneur, uh, well, and being an author is an entrepreneur, of course, but you know, if you have a specialty, you know, if you're a relationship coach or a life coach or a career coach or uh, weight loss coach, nutritionist, uh, you know, whatever your expertise is, or maybe you're an educator or a teacher and you've written some great educational books, or maybe you've written some uh, children's books, or you're a poet. This is all so unique and it is all uh, really about you and your unique style and how you present yourself and how you present who you are and what you do, uh, which is why it's so important for you to narrate your own audiobook because no one can replicate you. Only you can replicate 
you. Only you can tell your story the way that you intend it to be heard, okay? So now when we talk about time, um, that really is an excuse. It's an excuse. And maybe there, there is a, a fear that's related to time. Um, working in the corporate world, you know, especially in the entertainment business, I see this, you know, I saw this all the time. Everything is due yesterday. <laughs> the deadlines are insane in that business. And even in other businesses, you know, deadlines can be very overwhelming and that can cause stress and anxiety, both physical and mental. And that can be an underlying reason of why uh, some authors say, you know, I just don't have the time. Because, you know, deadlines create a time constraint and that can create a lot of anxiety. And anxiety will affect your narration. Um, so, but here's the thing. I do want to share something with you about recording your audiobook, and it's this. When you're recording your audiobook, think of it this way. There's a, there's a formula that, uh, that you can utilize to um, give you an idea of, about how long it'll take you to actually record your audiobook. Okay, so let's say, oh, your book is 40,000 words. Okay, 40,000 words. Um, the average person uh, narrates, uh, and, or I should say speaks roughly about, and I'll be conservative, about 9,300 uh, words per hour. Okay, so take that 40K, right? Take your 40,000 words, divide that by 9,300, and that gives you roughly about 4.3 hours. So your audiobook, if it's a 40,000 word book, is going to be roughly about 4.3 to maybe four and a half hours. Okay. Now, when it comes to actually doing the recording of your audiobook, you want to double that number. Okay. So maybe it'll be between 8.6 to nine hours of actual recording time for you to record your audiobook because you do have to take into consideration, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're going to make mistakes. You may trip up on a word. Uh, there may be uh, some ambient sounds or noises or uh, maybe you have a lot of mouth noises or maybe, uh, you know, a plane flies by. That's, that's always a common thing when I'm doing my editing for my clients. Or, you know, I hear a dog bark or, or you know, the, the gardener across the street fires up that leaf blower and it's like, oh, man. But, you know, sometimes when you're recording, you're in your zone. So you don't notice these things. But, um, you know, but they do happen. But they do happen. So using that formula just kind of gives you an idea about, you know, how much actual time it'll take you to record your audio book. So that's something to keep in mind. So time... Uh, really is is an excuse because you found the time to write your book and get your book published. Then the beauty about it, doing an audiobook, especially when you narrate it yourself, is it's already written, right? Now you, you, your book is already there and you're just going to be narrating it. You're going to be telling your story. You know, of course, learning the tools and techniques to be conversational and to be authentic and to be compelling and to keep your your listener engaged from opening credits to closing credits. Of course, all that comes into play, which is you know what I teach you in my audiobook coaching program. But you know you do have what it takes to uh, do a great audiobook narration. Okay, so just you know keep that in mind that you do have the time. You wrote a great book. You you have what it takes to narrate a great book, and you shouldn't be afraid of spending too much time doing it. This is why I created the course. It's six weeks, and that's not an arbitrary number. That's There's a reason for that. Um, we're going to talk more about that a little bit later on, about you know more details about the uh, audiobook coaching program. But I do want to share some more uh, thoughts in regards to things that you may be afraid of. And then I want to give you uh, an infamous catchphrase of mine that I want to share with you that'll help you overcome any kind of obstacles or fears or anything that's stopping you, that's creating barriers from you narrating your own audiobook. Okay. We're going to take a quick break. We will be back to dive into this in more detail. If you want to comment, if you're uh, watching and listening to the live stream, uh, by all means, please do. I'd love to hear from you. you can tell me about your book. 
Um, but we are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. This is the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. I'm Robert A. Lane. Don't go away. We have so much more to talk about. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And welcome back to the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. I'm Robert A. Lane. A business called Robert Lane Coaching as an audiobook coach and producer. You can go to robertlanecoaching.com, find out more about what I do and how I help uh, nonfiction authors like yourself uh, narrate your own audiobook and get you published on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books by the end of the six week program. So, again, you can go to robertlanecoaching.com. Uh, I do want to uh, give you a freebie. I want to give you a freebie, and that is a audiobook narration reference guide. So, Check this out. Uh, This is a nice little PDF download. It's free for you to have as a reference guide. Uh, It gives you some tools and techniques, and uh, both from the practical standpoint, uh, you know, about physical standpoint, uh, mic placement, and those types of things, uh, in addition to the emotional and uh, energy and intangible aspect of what makes a great audiobook narration. So uh, by all means, please uh, go ahead and grab that uh, narration guide. It's a free audiobook narration reference guide. Uh, And you can go to my website at robertlanecoaching.com. It's right there on the homepage to grab a copy of that. Or you can go to this link, of course, which is bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash narration reference guide. And that's the uh, link that you can uh, click on or type in and grab your audiobook narration guide. All right. So grab it. All right. Uh, it's my free gift to you. Uh, and, uh, and I know you'll, you'll get some great uh, valuable information out of that. So again, we're talking about narrating your audiobook, right? Narrating your audiobook. What are you afraid of? And uh, again, uh, we um, talked about uh, maybe just uh, experience or just fear of public speaking. Time has been an excuse. Um, some people are also uh, concerned about the quality of their own voice. Uh, I, I deal with this a lot with the authors that I work with in my program who are apprehensive when they start because they feel like their voice is horrible. They don't like their voice. They hate their voice. They, you know, I don't sound good. Uh, you know, I, I just, you know, I don't, I don't have what it takes. And, and th- those are just all, um, I, you know, I wouldn't say just excuses. I, I consider those false beliefs because you do have what it takes. You are capable, more than capable to narrate your own audio book. Absolutely. 100%. And you do have a great voice and, and what, uh, starts with you 
having a great voice is believing in your great voice and embracing the wonderful voice that you do have because you do have what it takes. And that unique voice of yours is all part of your author brand. That's part of your uniqueness. Now, remember, when you wrote your book, your voice is in your written word. So as a nonfiction author, it only makes sense for you to narrate your own book because now you're bringing it to life, okay? You're bringing this uniqueness to life in your own voice. And it's funny, you know, like when I read a book, I, uh, I hear a voice in my head <laughs> while I read. So why not it be yours, right? Instead of a fa you know, fabricated voice in my head, I'd rather listen to the audio book and then I grab the ebook or paperback and I follow along. It's, it's really uh, a great thing. And, and I love hearing the authors tell their story because it's, again, as I say, it's their story and, and no one can express what you have said and what you've written in your book better than you. Even if you have a, uh, you hired like the best narrator in the world, they're still gonna do their interpretation. So maybe their, their voice inflections, maybe their pacing, maybe certain words or phrases or sentences or even paragraphs of, of uh, how they accentuate certain things wouldn't be the way that you would do it. That's why it's so important for you as a nonfiction author to narrate your own book because no one can narrate it better than you can because it's your story, all right? Um, now, I know another fear is criticism, but hey, you know what? You're a creative. You wrote your book, you've published your book, you've put yourself out there, so you've already taken that step and there's always gonna be, you know, somebody, to, say something negative or, you know, I mean, the world's full of trolls, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there'll be people that may give you a bad review just because that's just what they do. But again, you've already put your, yourself out there as a creative, as a writer, as an author, um, you put yourself out there and, you, you know, criticism is part of the game. Now, with your audiobook, it's, you know, it's really no different. It's still your book, it's still your written word, and now it's just in your own voice. So don't be overly critical of how you sound, okay? Because again, your unique voice is part of your unique style, which is part of your unique author brand, which is why the people who read your book and buy your book uh, and, and the followers that you have, uh, that's why they follow you, because of your unique style. I've used this uh, analogy before. Uh, again, uh, let's say uh, you're a, um, weight loss coach and you've written a book and uh, maybe there are uh, two weight loss, loss coaches you know, you know weight loss coach a and weight loss coach b and they've both written books and they're both equally qualified uh, with what they are and what they do however one person may be drawn more towards you know uh coach B than they are with coach A and vice versa. Why is that? It's because of their unique style of, of, of how they, they teach their coaching program. You know, if they're a weight loss coach and maybe they're teaching similar uh, techniques, but the way that coach B teaches their technique over coach A, one's gonna attract somebody over another. And that's why you know, you, you are drawn towards a certain coach or, you know, again, as a writer and an author, <clears throat> people are drawn towards your book because of your style, of your teaching style, your coaching style and your writing style. And that's, again, is part of the uniqueness of your author brand. That's the one thing that you absolutely want to be able to preserve is your author brand because that's what makes you you and that's why uh, having another narrator narrate your audiobook may not be the the best option because it's their interpretation okay um now i do want to talk about this catchphrase that i've talked about in the book that i wrote uh, i do have a book uh, by the way it's called lights action you uh it's uh this is when i was uh, teaching career coaching and life coaching and and the book basically is about uh, my experiences, my 30 plus years 
experience of working in the entertainment world and taking various stories and, and those experiences and putting them in book form. But with each story is a tool or technique to help you navigate uh, through you know, any type of work environment. Now, this does apply for you as an author because you are a business, you are an author brand, and uh, the tools and techniques that are actually in that book you know, are, are things that you can utilize as part of your business as an entrepreneur because you are an entrepreneur. So there's a chapter in here that's called Fight, Flight, or Freeze. And what it deals with is dealing with fear. And uh, the story that I share in the book uh, basically goes through uh, when I was working uh, at 20th Century Fox, and this is when the encoding world was just beginning, uh, and uh, I was working in that department, and it became so incredibly stressful that it it turned into a you know fight, flight, or freeze situation. And back then, I didn't have the tools and techniques that I do now in regards to dealing with fear and it was very detrimental. So uh, the tool that I want to give you is this. This is the catchphrase, something for you to remember. You may want to jot it down, and it's this. When it comes to fear, face it, embrace it, purge it, replace it. Those are the four steps. Face it, embrace it, purge it, replace it. When you do this, you will be able to I would say not maybe completely overcome your fear, but definitely come to terms with anything that's holding you back. How this applies to you as an, as an audiobook narrator for your own book? Oh, it definitely does. It definitely does because you have to get down to the root causes of what is making you afraid, right? What are you afraid of? That's our theme today. What are you afraid of when it comes to narrating your own audiobook? You have the tools. It's all right in here. You got this great voice. You got this head, which is an awesome resonator, which helps create your unique voice and style. Don't be afraid of it. Embrace it. So <clears throat> face it, embrace it, purge it, replace it. That's the process to getting over any kind of fears that you may have or any kind of barrier that's stopping you from narrating your own audiobook. Okay. So let's take this one piece at a time. And we'll start with face it. Face it is facing your fear. What is the fear? You are facing it. When you are facing your fear, you are acknowledging it. So maybe it is a fear of public speaking. Maybe that's holding you back. Maybe it's a fear of people thinking that they're not going to like your voice when you do your narration. That can be your fear. <clears throat> maybe it is a time issue. Maybe using time as an excuse to not create your audiobook uh, has been uh, a situation, maybe from the past, of, of being under a deadline. Maybe it's fear of deadlines. Maybe it's fear of that time constraint. Because when you have this fear of deadlines and that pressure and that time constraint creates stress, and that stress creates anxiety, and that anxiety is both not only mental, but it is physical. You feel it. You know, you physically feel it and emotionally you feel it as well. So facing your fear, the way you face your fears, you just got to strip away the layers. Get down to the root cause. What is causing that fear? Why do you have this fear of speaking? Okay. Why are you using time as an excuse? Why do you hate your voice? What is it that's holding you back from creating another great product for your arsenal of products as an author. You gotta have an audiobook if you're a nonfiction author. You definitely do. And you gotta narrate it, right? You gotta narrate it. So facing that fear is acknowledging it. That's the first step. The second step is embrace. You face your fear, now you're embracing a fear. When you're embracing the fear, you are basically coming to terms with it. So some things that people do uh, and that work for them is when they strip away the layers and they get down to the reason of why. Why do I have this fear? What is causing me you know, anxiety? What is causing me stress? What is creating the wall? What is creating the barrier that is stopping me from you know, narrating my own audiobook? 
You know, I wrote this great story. I love this book I wrote. And you should. You should love your product. That's, you know, that's who you are. That's what you're about. Love it and embrace it. Well, now you're going to embrace your fear. Okay. Why do you have this fear of narration? What is it? Write it out. Some people like to talk it out. Some people write it out. And what you're doing is you're embracing it. You're not confronting fear. Confrontation is negative. You don't want to confront your fear. That causes more stress. That's why I don't say confrontation. That's why I don't say you're going to confront your fears. No, you're going to embrace your fear because you're acknowledging it. You're getting down to the core reason of why you have this fear in the first place. And now you are going to go to step three. And step three is purging it, right? So you're facing your fear. You're embracing your fear. You know what it is. You're, you, you've acknowledged it, and now you're coming to terms with it. And now once you come to terms with it, you can purge it. Now, it's not easy, okay? That's just a fact. It, it's not just one simple step. Ah, you know, don't worry about it. You know, yeah, no, nothing to be afraid of. Easy, easy thing to say, right? Those are easy words to say, but the process may not be that easy, okay? But what you've done by facing your fear and embracing your fear is now you can move it aside, okay? You can move it aside because now you know why you have this fear, and now you're going to move it aside and you're going to purge it. So purge it may not get rid of it completely, but it allows you to move it aside and bring in positivity. Now, we're going to dive into the, uh, I want to talk a little bit more about purging your fear, and then we're going to get to the fourth step, which is embracing your, or uh, replacing your fear. Uh, but we do have to take a quick break. Uh, we, I'm glad you're here with us. Stick around because there's going to be more information for you about this, and I don't want you to miss out. This is the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be right back. I'm Robert A. Lane. We're streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Thanks for joining. Welcome back. This is the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. I'm Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. I'm an audiobook coach and producer. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Our topic today is narrating your audiobook. What are you afraid of? And we're tackling fear and I'm giving you a process of what you can do to help navigate through anything that's creating a barrier uh, that's stopping you from narrating your own audiobook. Because again, 
All nonfiction authors of a great published book out in the world need to narrate their own audiobook because it's your story. No one can replicate you. No one can replicate your author brand. You've put too much blood, sweat, and tears into creating this book and creating your author brand. You need to preserve it. And the way to do it is by narrating your own audiobook. Now, uh, I've already talked about uh, the four stages of the uh, uh, my uh, catchphrase of face it, embrace it, purge it, replace it uh, when dealing with fears. Again, facing your fear is uh, acknowledging it, uh, embracing it is when you uh, are, again, getting down to the core reason why and coming to terms with it. You embrace the fear, you're not confronting, you're embracing. Uh, I did mention about purging before we go, went on our break. Purging your fear doesn't necessarily mean it's you, you're getting rid of it, but what you're doing is now you can move it aside. Now that you understand what it is, you can move it aside, and that opens up space. It opens up space for you to do phase number four, and that is replace it. You're replacing this negativity of fears and beliefs with positivity, with positive affirmations, okay? So that's the goal, all right? You are removing the negativity from your subconscious, and you're going from a place of stress and fear and anxiety to a, a place of positivity of belief, of confidence, and that's where you need to be. And that's definitely where you need to be before you even hit that record button to start doing your audiobook narration. You have to be in the right frame of mind and you can't have any of these barriers stopping you or something nagging at you in the back of your mind because that's gonna affect your, your audiobook narration. So again, you're replacing negativity with positivity. So your belief systems, right? Your belief systems and your habits are the fuel that drives your subconscious. So you don't want to be putting bad fuel into your subconscious. Bad fuel is all that negativity and stress and anxiety and, and you know, the I can't uh, and I don't and, you know, these, these words that, uh, that, do create those barriers. You are getting rid of that. No more bad fuel. We want some good fuel. We want that high octane stuff, which is great positivity. That's I am, I can. And you tell yourself this and you create these affirmations. That's what the replacing is all about. Putting good fuel back into your subconscious. I am a great audiobook narrator. I have what it takes. I love my voice. I sound fantastic. No one can replicate me because I am unique. That's what makes my book so great. That's what makes my product, my book, which is my product, so great. That's what makes my author brand so terrific because I love what I do. I'm proud of what I do. And I am proud of how I am going to narrate my audiobook. All these things are positive fuel for the subconscious. And that's what you want to do. So again, Dealing with fear, face it, embrace it, purge it, replace it. It's a great, easy technique, right? It's a quick little catchphrase just to keep in mind and just do the work, do the work because this is something that I do uh, with the authors that I work with in my audiobook coaching program and that is we start with mindset because mindset is key. You have to be in the right frame of mind before you, you do hit that record button. You have to be, you have to be focused, you have to be grounded. You have to be in the present moment. You can't allow worry and fear, you know, maybe fear of something that happened in, or worry about something that maybe happened in the past or something that may happen. You can't do that. You have to be in the present moment. You have to be focused because the goal of doing a great audiobook narration and how to be compelling and how to keep that listener engaged through the entire book from opening credits to closing credits, how to be compelling is focus, is being in the present moment, is tapping into the core reason of why you wrote your book in the per first place, because that's what you're bringing forth in your voice. You really are bringing that book uh, to life 
you know, taking it to the next level when you narrate your own audiobook. And that is something that is so fantastic and so unique and so crucial to your author brand. So again, you don't want to let fear be a factor stopping you from narrating your own audiobook. Okay. Again, as I mentioned earlier, you know, having an, a narrator do your audiobook, it's fine, but it's not preserving the integrity of your author brand because, again, another narrator is going to do their own interpretation. You do have what it takes. And uh, I do want to touch on a little bit about the uh, audiobook coaching program that I do teach just to give you an idea. I want to give you just kind of a bird's eye view of, of what happens when you enroll in the program. So first of all, the equipment is provided for you. I send you professional equipment, microphone, headphones. We go over the recording program that you're going to use to record your audiobook. And it's very methodical, very step-by-step. -step. As your coach, of course, I'm with you every step of the way and walk you through it and have you create your own recording space. Because the goal is to take away the overwhelm, take away the anxiety. We don't want stress. We don't want anxiety. We don't want you to feel like you're under pressure of having to go to a recording studio and you have a finite amount of time that you've booked to uh, do your audiobook narration. And you know, what if, what if you're having a bad day? What if, you know, it's uh, taking longer than what you expected? What if you're making a lot of mistakes? What if you're just not in your mental zone? Guess what? You know, when your time is done, they're going to boot you out and that's that. So then you have to book more time. It's going to cost more money and more time and more money and more time. By providing you the equipment that you need to set up for your own recording space, it allows you to uh, allocate specific days and times when you're going to work on your audiobook. And that takes away so much of the pressure and the stress of, you know, having to go somewhere else that maybe is an uncomfortable environment. Because when you set up your own recording space, whether it's in your bedroom or uh, you have a home office, or I've had uh, authors who've gone through my program, a couple of them set them up and you know, they have a big closet. And they're like, oh, this is a great space. It's, you know, it, it'll, it sounds fantastic in here. And they do it. And, and they do sound great, actually. So, uh, you know, but the point is you want to be in a comfortable space. So, if you have a fear of speaking, if you have a fear, if you, you know, pull this microphone in front of your face, you know, and now you're in a, a recording studio, which is not in an environment that maybe you're comfortable in, it will affect your narration. You know, you want to be compelling, you want to be engaging, but you don't want to be apprehensive or have any of these, you know, things in the back of your mind that are the fears that are, you know, those little, uh, uh, barriers that that will affect your narration because what makes a great audiobook narration is when you're comfortable and when you are conversational and when you feel relaxed and most importantly and this is why you do need to narrate your own audiobook is authenticity you need to be your authentic self and uh, with that that's all part of your author brand being your authentic self and that comes through in your narration, right? Nobody can narrate your book as, as well as you can. And that's just a fact. That's why, again, I told you, I'll say it a million times, all nonfiction authors do need to narrate their own audiobook. It's that simple, okay? So that's uh, the first part of, the, of, of what I do as an audiobook coach is providing you with the equipment. Of course, then we do really dive deep into what it takes to do a great audiobook narration. Who are you talking to? How are you being authentic? Um, your energy, your emotion, the intangibles. The intangibles are so important, right? The things that maybe you don't physically touch, but you can feel. That's what separates a mediocre audiobook from a fan freaking tastic audiobook because you are bringing your unique style and emotion. And remember, you're always tapped into your core reason. Why did I write this book in the first place? What was my purpose? Why is it so important for me to have the world hear my audiobook? You know, I've written it and now I want people to hear it because what you wrote is so important and it was important enough for you to write it and to get it published. 
So narrating your own audiobook is just the next logical step. Now, the other part of recording your audiobook is this. You have to go to a recording studio. Let's say uh, you're going to do your audiobook and you don't have the equipment and you're not in my program. So you go and you record. Well, now that you have all these audio files recorded, because when you do your audiobook, it is done in sections. Okay. So um, you have all these audio files. Now, you, now there's audio post production. You need to have your audio files edited. And that's a, and that's a, you know, a big factor. And a, a lot of authors forget this or, or they don't realize how much work goes into editing your audiobook. I'm going to dive into this a little bit more in detail because it really is important to understand this. Uh, we do have to take one more break here, uh, but uh, I do want to talk about that because it is very important and really gives you a good idea of the process of creating an awesome audiobook. So we'll get into that when we come back. This is the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. I'm Robert A. Lane. Uh, I am an audiobook coach and producer with Robert Lane Coaching, uh, robertlanecoaching.com. You can check out uh, more information about what I do. Uh, but we will be right back. We're streaming live here on the Bold Brave TV network. Author, radio show host, and coach John M. Hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation hey my friends welcome back to the your book your voice podcast i'm robert a lane with robert lane coaching and we are streaming live on the bold brave tv network thank you so much for tuning in uh, just to wrap up the uh, thought about uh, what it takes after you record your audiobook, again, there's audio uh, post production work that needs to be done to your files. Uh, they have to be cleaned up, uh, they have to be really listened for any anomalies sound wise. Uh, maybe if you uh, flubbed a word or something that uh, you know, it doesn't sound quite right, or maybe the, the spacing and pacing, you know, maybe a too long of a gap between a paragraph or maybe too short of a gap. It's just so that there's flow to it. You know, there's all these things that are considered when you do the audio post-production editing, which is what we do uh, for you as part of the uh, audiobook coaching program. Um, it, you know, there's some companies out there who just run it through some program and they go, okay, it's clean. But you can't do it that way because there's going to be there's going to be things in there that you have to really listen for and go through with a fine tooth comb to make sure that it sounds perfect because it has to. You know, I treat every uh, book that I work on, every audio book that I work on for all my authors that go through the program. Uh, you know, I treat it as if it was my own book, and I want it to be so fantastic for you. You know, so uh, you know that's really important. The other thing is. It has to meet the exact specifications for publication. 
Okay, I, I, I've heard horror stories about authors who spent all these hours recording their audiobook and then spending thousands of dollars getting their audiobook done, and then it gets submitted into Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books, and it gets rejected. That sucks, and you don't want that to happen. So, you know, um, you're uh, guaranteed 100% to have your files uh, accepted and your audiobook published by the end of the six week program. I do all the uploading for you, and uh, you don't have to worry about that. The whole point is, again, removing the anxiety, the overwhelm, the hassle, anything that uh, may stop you or take uh, away from you doing a great narration. We want to remove those things, so all you need to do is just focus on doing a great narration and all those other things we handle for you. If you are interested, by the way, in the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program, here's another catchphrase for you. Action takers are success makers. And that means just uh, go to my website, and click on booking a call because uh, I do speak with all uh, anybody who's interested in, in going through the program. I, I want to talk with you first, find out more about your book, what your goals are, marketing strategies, and then we get you enrolled in the program. Six weeks later, you have an audiobook. It's that simple. So you can just book a call. Uh, matter of fact, I know we, we do have a graphic actually. I, sh I should put that up there. <laughs> we do have a graphic here on the screen if you're seeing the video portion of the podcast. Uh, you can click on this link as well, which is uh, bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash audiobook onboarding. All right. And again, you can always go to the website at robertlanecoaching.com and uh, uh, find out more about the program and book your call because I would love to, to speak with you and get you into the audiobook world. Uh, so just to wrap up our topic today, again, narrating your audiobook, what are you afraid of? Don't let fear stop you from narrating your own audiobook. You have what it takes. You have a great voice. Your uniqueness and your style that is in your written word is your voice. You're now just physically narrating your book and bringing that voice alive in a, in a format now that people can listen to you, hear you tell your story. And as a nonfiction author, nobody can tell your story better than you. You are the most qualified. So love your voice, embrace your voice, appreciate your voice, tell yourself how Great your voices. Remember, positive fuel for the subconscious. Do positive affirmations. That makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. You have to be in the right frame of mind before you hit that record button when it comes to narrating your own audiobook. You have to be. Mindset is key. That's part of what makes you you, and that's part of what makes a great audiobook. And that's, again, tapping into your core reason of why you wrote your book in the first place, because you're going to bring that in through your narration. Having somebody specific to, talk, to tell your story to, to talk to, you know, makes your book sound conversational. And above all, being your authentic self is key, because you don't want to be a poser. You don't want to be fake. You want to be you, because that is the essence of your author brand is you being you, okay? So keep that in mind. And again, when it comes to fear, remember that catchphrase, face it, embrace it, purge it, replace it. Four steps of dealing with fear. Figure out, you know, facing your fear. What is it that I'm afraid of? What's stopping me from narrating my own audiobook? All right, embracing the fear, all right? You're working through it now, okay? Why am I afraid? What was the root cause? Let me let me embrace that fear because now I can move it aside. So that's the purging phase. Face and embrace it, purge it. Purge it means moving it aside. You may not get rid of the fear completely, but you will be able to move it aside to do the last phase, which is replacing it. You're replacing your fear with positive affirmations and things that will help you get focused, get grounded, be in the present moment, and do an awesome narration because you have what it takes. You have a great voice, believe in yourself, love your voice, embrace your voice because again, that's what makes you so unique. And that's why all nonfiction authors need to narrate their own audiobook because it's your story. Nobody can tell your story better than you, hands down, all right? So with that, again, thank you so much for joining me on this edition of the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. Um, again, if you want more information, just go to robertlanecoaching.com and book your call because I'll be happy to talk to you and get you enrolled in the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program and you can have your audiobook done in six weeks. Pretty awesome. And finally, my friends, my assignment to you is this. When you're out and about in the world, 
Smile at a stranger, say hello to them, maybe even give them a compliment, because that small gesture of kindness can make the world of difference in somebody's day. Maybe they're having a bad day, and just by you even smiling and saying hello can really make their day. So my assignment to you is this, be good humans. All right. Thank you so much for joining the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. Again, I'm Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. I appreciate you tuning in. Join me next week at the same time for another exciting (laughs) edition of the Your Book, Your Voice podcast. Thanks so much. Take care, my friends. We'll talk to you next week. This has been Your Book, Your Voice with host Robert A. Lane. Tune in each week for another powerful and informative episode of Your Book, Your Voice, Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave TV Network.